Hey y'all and welcome to the channel Yes, welcome back And we got Lauren still saying Portia Williams refused to listen to us But we're going to keep making videos And hopefully she will succumb to what is reality Her fiancé, glorified boyfriend um, Boyfriend to me He's trending once again in the news today we're really on the social media i should say on his social media platform yes he is showing us how to do three things and he wanted us to pay attention but i was just saying he's trying to be messy once again trying to flaunt who he is what he does and we all to expire to be like him okay and i'm like hell to the no no, 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 because the streets in Atlanta are talking. They're saying, what kind of fiancé, glorified boyfriend do you have going on, Portia? What kind of man do you have, girl? He Y'all should be planning a wedding, right? But it seems like he's trying to open up a car lot and sell cars at his house that y'all both reside in, allegedly. And then he's trying to teach us stuff about uh golfing and uh that's a nasty piece of paper on there i know he was blowing his nose with it that's just nasty you took a picture of it simon that's nasty 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 get with the hygiene that's just aesthetically not pleasing but simon is trying to tell us he's e-trading over there he wants us to know about what's happening on the news and he's showing us how he gets down in the morning or what he eats in this that and third he wants to give us uh, a heart attack uh, because he eating a lot of fatty foods and then he's trying to throw a little fruit and water in there and I'm like Portia are you over there drinking Hennessy and, and Coke girl Coca-Cola and Hennessy so early in the morning as y'all can see that book is called Metal Swing Groover uh yeah he is uh, calling himself wanting to be a pro golfer, I guess. But at 60 years old plus, I think that time has passed, Simon. I really, really do think that time has passed. But he's giving us a lesson. He's trying to show us that he's getting serious about golf. He's getting serious about eating healthy. But he's not because the other parts of his food, his entree he's having for breakfast, like those... Uh, uh, potatoes they look like they're very buttery and uh yeah he got that slices of uh, bacon and i guess he got some kind of danish and then those are eggs i'm guessing because it sure can't be coleslaw because that'll be a nasty mix uh for a breakfast type food eatery but as you can see he has his stock exchange up there e-trading i thought i had mentioned something about that in my video instead of him making all these crazy videos showing off what he has um uh, done with his fortune or whatever he needs to be uh be on uh trading looking what the stocks are doing his stocks making sure they're growing and not depleting and i guess you just wanted to throw that in there so he must be watching my videos guys so let's thumbs him up okay as we pretty much tear him down because this is ridiculous okay what he is doing on social media is ridiculous and it's not fitting for a billionaire to be doing such things but again when Porsche is away he will play and do stupid shit like this okay and we kind of catch him every time and then we want to do videos on him but it just is what it is he continues to want to grow his Instagram account because as you can see he's at 4,000 493 likes uh 119 for comments but yeah he's teaching us or he's letting us know he's finna go out there and be a pro golfer all right he's gonna hang out in augusta at the masters and rub uh elbows or tee off with the professional players uh i don't know what world he's living in what reality he has stationed himself to be at but it's not the reality that we're all in okay he had that book i'm telling y'all what a swing groover is it's a uh, apparatus that teaches you how to have the correct moves when you're swinging but we know father time is about 64 69 years old and we don't want him to have any accidents or infractions he should not be doing this type of 
uh, exercising. He should not be doing this type of restraint because he might pull a muscle somewhere. And then that's when Portia has to come in like Mother Teresa or Florence Nightingale and swoop him up and take care of his illnesses that he brought on himself. Okay, Golfing is not for the weak. Golf is not for the uh, what do you call it? Um, people who are not in shape. Okay, you can do a lot of damage in your uh, disc, your shoulder. Because even um, Tiger Woods had an issue with his uh, arm and his shoulder. He had dislocated some stuff. So you know, Simon is a little bit too old to be practicing these tricks of the trade. This is something he should have been getting into in high school and uh, forming formulating a plan of action of how he wanted to proceed with his golfing uh, abilities. Now see that man right there is Arnold Palmer uh, in his old age uh, but as you can see he was still trying to do what it make it do and he had to retire. Okay. But he had played uh, many times at the Masters. That's a younger picture of him. Uh, he's kind of look cute on it, a little red thing. But this is like um, uh, after time that rich white folks had uh, called themselves gallivanting and partaking in. You didn't see a lot of black people being invited to, you know, the clubs and stuff of this nature to actually partake of uh, this uh, ritual that they do. Uh, my cousins, them, they are avid golf players. They got into it when... Uh, the middle age, well, they're in their 50s, you know, and they go tee up here and there. And I often ask them, what the hell are they doing out there? They know they don't know what they're doing. And they definitely have passed the prime of even achieving uh, some type of uh, fortitude or enjoyment and trying to get sponsors to watch them play golf. Okay, they've surpassed that time. But they said they just like, uh, they just like hidden stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they say it takes the, the stress. It's a stress reliever for them. Okay, and I'm like, okay, okay, all right. I see it. I get it. I, you know, you want got that man, man bonding time. And if y'all want to go work out some of y'all aggression because your girlfriends get on your nerves, your wives getting on your nerves, or hell, the job getting on your nerves, you just got to pound something. And legally, you could get away with pounding those golf balls into the abyss or up in the stratosphere. So, you know, partake. Go ahead. Do your thing, men. Okay, but we got Jack Nicholson up there, uh, Phil Nicholson, I should say. He is another pro golfer. He's been entertaining himself uh, in the industry for a very, very long time. And he's definitely have had sponsors and still have sponsors. But I'm sure he's coming to a, a sensational end in his career as well. Because you can't be in your 60s trying to swing the same way you did maybe in your 20s. Uh, it's just not going to work. Your body's just not made up like that. Okay, you got to give it up sometime. But he's definitely been a forerunner in the golf industry. Yes, Mr. Nicholson. Phil Nicholson. Phil, yes, okay. Then, you know, uh, I, I just don't understand why Simon is trying to get all... The, now, he's supposed to be a billionaire, a millionaire. So, he should have been born in that legacy. So, these are attributes he should have learned earlier on in the game. But, like most people, everyday people, we work in the industry or we work on you know professional jobs and we don't get a chance to exercise this type of leisure until we retire and uh, I don't know if Simon ever really worked or what he does because he doesn't show anybody anything we know he's not on the Forbes 500 list uh, but uh, it just is what it is he's going to be uh, a person that keeps stuff to itself and that's dangerous and of course you need to really be finding out what he does for a living who he's associated with before you say i do baby girl i'm just saying we don't want no infractions where you be locked up because of your stupidity of not trying to find out what this man really does okay because right now he's trying to be like tiger woods <laughs> he's trying to be like tiger woods all right, he's trying to be a pro golfer at the latter part of his uh, stages of life, which is not going to work out. Man, he keep messing around. He's going to pull a disc, spring his shoulder, uh, have some elbow problems, or he might even 
mess up and think he's hitting the golf ball and he might tear up his ankle okay we just don't know how people do when they go out there swinging that club okay that club can cause some serious damage but he made it a point to take a picture of this metal swing groover and i just wanted to let y'all know what that was all about okay since he's trying to be so cryptic and you see Portia's picture over there. It's not even centered face. It's got the clock in front of it. So I'm like, what time or time are you going to be making preparations for your wedding, Simon? You should be wedding, looking at wedding stuff, all right? And how much it's going to cost you. Because I don't think Bravo is in the... Um, in the frame of mind that they want to give you a wedding special and technically you shouldn't be wanting some man or another organization or a company to be giving you a wedding when you should be supporting your own self and your wife with the comings and goings and paying out uh the wazooka for a lavish style wedding uh, I think Prussia had said she wanted to have three or maybe it's the custom for you to have three. I have no idea. I've known some um, African women in my line of work and they celebrate about uh, maybe a whole seven days. The ce celebration is fierce and I like the way they make it rain. They be just, you know, putting money everywhere on the uh, love bugs, on the groom and the um pride you know this would be making it rain on their behinds but it's a very long and tedious journey that they have when they celebrate getting married i'm like oh hell to the no 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 just give me 20 minutes in front of the preacher or a lovely outdoor wedding or good family and friends around me and that's about it but when certain africans do their weddings it'd be for days okay days on an end and they be dressed to the nines on every day they step out okay as husband and wife but uh, that's a little bit too much for me. I don't have the money to even try to think how much they put into it. But it's loads of money. We could probably talk about maybe fifty grand to maybe 120000 Okay, and it might be more than that. I'm just being, uh, what do you call it, uh, generous on what I would view as a African wedding and how long or how much it would cost. But it's very expensive. Very, very expensive. Okay, but um, we're about through with the father time and his lies and, and, and his comings and goings of him trying to educate the masses on golfing, the proper techniques, the proper trading techniques you need to do to um, acquire masses of money. And he's trying to show us how to have a heart attack because all the food that he was showing was very high in cholesterol and would kill the average person that's already suffering from heart disease. Okay, don't know who was drinking that Hennessy and Coke on the other side, but I, I would fare to guess that it was probably Portia. Okay allegedly but that's all i have for this video guys y'all like it love it. gotta have more stay tuned to the channel because you know i'm coming back with a banger all right and don't forget to go over to the other channel and support me subscribe share and like my videos but emotionally uh that i really need y'all to do is sh subscribe okay subscribe and share the videos okay and like too but i really want y'all to go over there and subscribe okay and get your kiki laugh on because i'll be talking about you and everybody and the grandmama okay but that's all i have for this video guys and i'll see y'all on the next one Bye bye